That, I think, is a consistent uh, pattern throughout the history of the Turkish Republic, this pulling in two directions, uh, the state pulling towards this modern Western uh, uh, unreligious or removed from religion public sphere, and different groups in Turkey either thinking that that's exactly the way the country should go, or some groups hope, holding on to tradition and wishing that it could be more a part of public life. Yes, I don't know if we can name this as traditions, but at least some kind of identity issue as well, in the sense that um, can we bring in exactly some maybe uh, religious uh, or sometimes na more nationalism is also a kind of um, tension in the Turkish case, because between Westernism and nationalism, they are not cohabiting always in a peaceful way. But uh, w what you ask is very true, that is there is this inbred tension within the political system between more authoritarian understanding of secularism, authoritarian in the sense that when it is necessary, they can stop the democratic process. And whereas democratic process means the coming of new groups who can claim for more traditional or religious um, rights in the public sphere. So that tension was resolved uh, through, I would say, the parliamentary politics to some extent, because Turkey had succeeded uh, since 1946 to go beyond single uh, party system to a more pluralistic regime. Therefore, elections matters a lot in the Turkish case. And uh, when I say Turkish case, because in the Middle East, it's very rare to find a country where alternance and uh, elections matter. I mean, in the so in this sense that Turkey always had some kind of, since 1946, the end, 50s, democratization, which meant a kind of more traditional representation in the public political sphere. And then the anxiety of the secular elites, not only the state, but anxiety of the Republican elites, Republican social groups, who do not see a problem to uh, intervene and stop this democratization process. So there is this ten tension, if we want to coin some words, between, I would say, authoritarian secularism and conservative uh, democ democracy, in a way. Uh, it's important also to mention the role of the military as the guarantor of whatever the state uh, deemed to be the proper secular course, so that the military throughout modern Turkish history uh, comes in at certain points and takes over, establishes military regimes to make sure that Turkey remains on the straight and narrow path, let's call it, that Ataturk had uh, initially installed. Exactly. That's what I mean by Republican authoritarianism. But uh, I think the one um, view that is widely spread uh, in relation to Turkish history is that Turkish secularism is uh, only possible through military, uh, military power. And so it's a kind of representation of the Turkish modernization as something from top to down. And uh, especially in today's Islamic politics, uh, many people have um, suggested that that's the failure of Ataturk secularism, because today it's Islamization mm -hmm. kind of process that is going on as in any other Muslim countries. That is a kind of uh, picture I oppose to. Uh, I do not agree at all because, on the contrary, we can speak of a success story in the Turkish case to some, to some extent in the sense that secularism, which started from top as a state elite politics, also moved down uh, to everyday life politics. We, we can see that, for instance, through the manifestations of uh, secular people in the street who were defending secularism as a modern way of life, the to translate of demonstrations of uh, thousands and millions of people who started in Ankara last year. And then it was also, it moved to other cities, uh, and not only in Ankara and Istanbul, but many Anatolian cities as well. So this is what I call secular agency. That was also unthought in the Turkish uh, politics. People thought that secularism was only uh, something or Secularism understanding mo values of modernity and non-religious, non-conservative understanding of uh, social and political life. 
so it was thought that it was only in a minority elitist group, which is not true. So.